The need to ensure a sustainable leadership in the society has again been emphasized. This call was made at the maiden convocation lecture of the QHSES Leadership Academy organized in Lagos. Speaking at the event, the Chief Academy and Responsibility Officer, Mr. Badmos, urged the graduates to embrace good leadership qualities which they have been taught during their course of studies. It, it is all about when you sit down and you say, why am I in this world? If I can come to this world, I cannot put any positive impact. Then why am I only complaining about the world? It's let us be leading with empathy. If you lead with empathy, put yourself in the shoe of the other people and see how you can add value to them. Very critical. Most of our leaders don't lead with empathy. Compassionate leadership is the way to go. When you have that compassion, you will go a long way to add value to people. And that is very, very critical. And that's my advice to them. Ten months, I would say, has been very rigorous in terms of lectures. They had to do virtual classes. They had to um, go through numerous parts of quality, health, safety, sustainability, and security. We had people from all over the country and also outside the country, from Canada, to teach this student on the rudiments and the fundamentals of what it is to be a sustainable leader. I would say that to all of our graduates today are people who would help shaping the occupational health and safety space in Nigeria. It's very important to note that um, occupational health and safety is, is the center of the well-being of the country. So if we have better leaders, we have better people who understand what occupational health and safety is, they can better create a safer environment for workers at work, even at home and even within the government. It's a landmark event because this is first of its kind in our industry and as you can see really it's a laudable event. Even from the way the chief academy officer has spoken, it was a very rigorous exercise. They had to go through almost 36 modules with over 25 lecturers. It was very rigorous. They had lectures, they had assignments, they had various presentations just to train them and ensure that they become sustainable leaders that will be able to make impacts in our world. So um, without missing words and without any iota of doubt, I can tell you that the crop of graduates that we have today, they are being trained and they are solid enough to take on any leadership role regarding occupational health and safety in our industry. I'm so proud of them and really I can beat my chest and I can actually um, give my recommendation for them anywhere because of the rigors and because of the training and that they had passed through, yes. Some of the graduates also bear their minds on the event. This program is, um, is, is going out to ensure that we build a sustainable leader. Now, at our areas of influence, we are charged to ensure that we um, achieve and display these characteristics and traits of a leader in the society. During my speech, I made mention of us going out there to be a change agent. Because currently, the world we are now is faced with a great challenge when it comes to leadership and management, even when it comes to organization. So as we've been trained, we have trained and geared and him to ensure that we become a sustainable leader, that in our era of free flesh, we begin to influence change in our organizations, in the society, and at large. I would say I feel fortunate. Okay, I would say I feel fortunate. I would say I feel honored, sincerely, because um, being in the class with the several number of people we had there, I, I, I could feel how determined everyone was and I could feel the encouragement from every single person. Even when we had our group sessions, like every single person pitched in, I always felt like you were in the most competitive of environments. The convocation lecture with the team, Sustainable Leadership, Leading with Greater Impact, is an event organized to celebrate and graduate students who have undergone six months program. The leadership has been misunderstood in so many quarters. People think that the man that has the highest power of force is a leader. The man that has the highest part of dominion is a leader. It's not true. Leadership is about sacrifice, it's about service. And once we believe in it, it's going to connect three layers. The past, the present, and the future. To the past, we talk about our predecessors and who are eventually mentors to us based on their works, their books, their inspirations. Then the contemporaries are our team members, those we are working with, whom we must collaborate with. 
And those who are coming after the successors become our mentees. So a leader connects with those three. The organizers of this uh, QHSC Leadership Academy, it's not an easy feat to bring individuals from different walks of life, different parts of the country, bringing them together, harnessing them for six months, training them on quality, health, safety, and environment skills. They've been trained, they've acquired their knowledge. I want to urge them to be good ambassadors of the institution, be good ambassadors of safety itself. So, as they've been trained now, it, the honors lies on them to take this leadership into action. We are the world. The 94 graduates who took part in the 36 modules courses of the academy are expected to be equipped with the necessary leadership skills that will contribute to the progress of every society they find themselves. Hey.